From the articulate bronze Antikythera mechanism to the encoded Phaistos disc full of symbols, and from the mystery of the Napahuaca Gateway in Peru to the indecipherable artistic Voynich Manuscript. These are the most mysterious ancient technologies that scientists still can't explain. Technology has been at the forefront of developing civilizations, shaping everything from their culture to their way of life, to the point where their technological achievements were impressively ahead of their time. So much so, they are still unexplainable even today. And while the origins of some of them are beyond our current comprehension, there is one thing that these discoveries have in common. They are all true. Over time, we've been fortunate enough to find artifacts of these ancient technologies to confirm they existed and were real. And we've uncovered some of them in today's video. Number 12, the Nalpa Huaca. You have to journey a long way off the beaten road to discover the ancient and peculiar site of Nalpa Huaca in Peru. Even its nomenclature gives it an air of interest. It translates into English as the Tabernacle of the Ancients. The purpose of the design is unclear, but it is considered a megalithic throne, somehow shaped with impeccable accuracy from a single lump of bluestone. Some historians and archaeologists have inferred that it appears a little like the Andean Cross, an important figure in Inca cosmology. The structure's most puzzling feature is a false door carved into the rock at the back. It's unclear how the door was carved so cleanly and precisely under the stone. To add to the mystery, the structure slopes are almost exactly the same angle as the slopes of Giza's Great Pyramid, accurate to within half a degree. The fact that the door leads nowhere has led to rumors that it is a portal to another dimension. Do you think the door leads to another dimension? Let us know in the comments. Number 11. Secret Sword-Making Arts of the Orient When Europeans returned from the Crusades, they began discussing swords wielded by Islamic troops, quote, that could slice through a floating handkerchief, bend 90 degrees, and flex again with minimal damage. Even in the 21st century, the recipe for so-called Damascus steel remains a secret. The blades were most likely made of crucible steel, which is made of fusing iron with plant materials. No one knows what type of crucible steel was used to make such a sword. Number 10. The Voynich Manuscript You're in for a treat if you've never heard of the Voynich Manuscript. The handwritten and hand-drawn manuscript, which contains text in an unintelligible language and hundreds of illustrations, including, quote, a myriad of drawings of miniature female forms, most with swollen abdomens, immersed or wading in fluids, and oddly interacting with interconnecting tubes and capsules, was created sometime in the 15th century in Central Europe, according to researchers. Wilfred M. Voynich, a Polish-American antiquarian merchant, bought it in 1912. Aside from that, it's a complete mystery. An electrical engineer and his sons have hypothesized that the document was written in a phonetic rendition of a Turkish dialect. A British researcher would also publish a report about his findings, suggesting that the dialect was a proto-romance language from the Middle Ages. Which theory do you think is correct? Number 9. A Mysterious Astronomical Calendar in contrast to the Roman dodecahedron, scientists have a good understanding of the Antikythera mechanism. The elaborate mechanism, discovered at the bottom of the sea in 1901, was most likely built around the end of the 2nd century BC. According to research published in Nature, it, quote, calculated and displayed celestial information, particularly cycles such as the phases of the moon and a lunisolar calendar. However, we still don't know who created it, who utilized it, what they did with it, or what it was actually used for. It's also unclear why it's, quote, technically more complex than any known apparatus for at least a millennium following, according to the Nature Abstract, which sparked a flurry of ancient aliens and time travel is real blog posts after its publication in 2006. However, as Brian Dunning of Skeptoid points out, similar gear-based technology existed around two and a half millennia before the Antikythera mechanism, and Occam's razor suggests that any siblings of the Antikythera mechanism, like most bronze objects of the time, were literally recycled into other objects. It's still a mystery, but for different reasons than people might believe. Number 8. Zhang Heng's Seismoscope This magnificent, 
golden, dragon-festooned, toad-surrounded vessel from circa 132 AD was the first earthquake-detecting gadget in history. The primary assumption was that when the earthquakes, one of the dragons, each representing a major compass direction, will spit a bronze ball into the mouth of a toad, signifying the quake's direction. The seismometer, quote, detected a 400-mile distant earthquake that was not felt at the seismoscope's site, according to a report. But no one knows for sure what was inside the relic to this day. Some speculate that it was a simple, pendulum-based system. But the specific science is unknown. How do you think he made it? Number 7. The Vikings' Ulfbert Swords to produce their famed Ulfbert swords, the Vikings may have acquired techniques or materials from the Damascus steel creators. Archaeologists were taken aback when they discovered the Viking swords because, quote, the technology required to make such clean metal would not be invented for another 800 years. In 2014, a 9th century Viking tomb in Scandinavia was unearthed with an Islamic inscription that read, Four or two Allah. Try tying the two civilizations together and making this shared knowledge plausible. But it's just a theory. The blade's true origin is still unclear. In the year 2020, German scientists discovered evidence that the Ulfbert swords were made in Germany. Number 6. The Phaistos Disc The Phaistos Disc has been a mystery since it was first discovered. There were numerous intriguing hypotheses around it. The 6-inch diameter clay disc, discovered in Crete in 1908, dates from circa 1700 BC and contains 241 words made up of 45 distinct symbols arranged in a spiral. The disc may contain sheet music, a hymn or prayer devoted to a matriarchal deity, or an ancient proto-typewriter, according to early ideas. What do you think this disc was used for? Number 5. Costa Rican Stone Spheres Scientists have a reasonable notion of how these massive, ancient stone balls discovered in Costa Rica came to be. Natives utilized, quote, fracture, pecking, and grinding processes to reduce granodiorite, a huge volcanic stone, into these beautiful spheres from roughly 200 BC to 800 AD. What's puzzling is why they did it in the first place. Vandals have moved almost all of them from their original placements, making it impossible to test claims concerning their usage as calendars or navigational aids. Some naive vandals even blew up the balls in hopes of finding gold. Do you think they did? Number 4. The Roman Dodecahedron If you believe these little bronze people would make great paperweights or tchotchkes, you're not alone. Maybe the ancient Romans thought so too. Scholars are still baffled. It's possible they were decorative items for the home. Number 3. The Rust-Resistant Delhi Iron Pillar Scientists disagree regarding the rust resistance of the more than 1,600-year-old Iron Pillar of Delhi. There are two schools of thinking on the subject. The warm climate of Delhi, India is ultimately to thank, according to scientists and experts who feel the environment plays a factor. Essentially, the right place at the right time. In any case, it's a remarkable feat of engineering. In Delhi, there is a thousand-year-old iron pillar that has never rusted. It wasn't until Harry Brearley's discovery of stainless steel in 1913 that it was able to prevent corrosion, but it was accomplished under King Chandra's reign. The iron pillar stands 7.2 meters tall and has a diameter of 16 inches. It weighs over 3,000 kilograms and contains old writing on it that has survived the ravages of time thanks to the lack of rust. After a thorough examination, scientists discovered that the pillar had undergone a three-phase process that resulted in the formation of a thin, protective layer over the pillar. This surface layer oxidized quickly, but it kept the iron pillar beneath it from rusting. This method for preventing iron from rusting, like so much ancient wisdom, was lost for hundreds of years. Number 2. The Great Pyramids of Giza this is one of three massive pyramids erected roughly 4,500 years ago on a wide plain west of Cairo. From Herodotus' time to the present, people have theorized about how they were erected. The Egyptians of the period were said to have only crude tools, were inexperienced with the wheel, lacked technology such as cranes, had a limited grasp of astronomy, and used only copper implements. It appears to have been accomplished via physical force, a large number of laborers who would have required roughly 20 years to finish each pyramid. It's not simply the scale of the building that's mind-boggling. 
but also the accuracy at which they were directed. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the most precisely aligned construction in the world. It is also at the center of the Earth's landmass. The Great Pyramid is exactly intersected by the east-west parallel and the north-south meridian. The mathematics that went into building the pyramids is likewise astounding. The radius of the sun is proportional to the perimeter of the granite coffers, and the weight of the pyramid is proportional to the mass of the Earth. Many people believe that the Egyptians must have received extraterrestrial technology to assist them build this seemingly impossible structure. Do you think so too? Let us know in the comments. Number 1. Viking Compass The Viking Compass was formed of eight Viking rune staves, often known as the Runic Compass or the Vegvizier. It was a protective emblem and is said to have been used as a compass with the same precision as a modern-day GPS. Sunstones were used by the Vikings to navigate at sea, and the Viking compass is regarded to be a smaller version of them. The cardinal and intercardinal directions might be represented by the eight runes. The directions would be revealed if a nail was placed in the center and its shadow was cast. Today, the Viking compass serves as a spiritual guide for the Asatru faith and represents Icelandic culture. There you have it, our list of ancient technologies scientists still can't explain. And if you enjoyed this video, we have another like it of the scariest archaeological discoveries ever found. I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it too.